Hello everybody, this is All Souls Gaming Can Do. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Unsighted. In the previous episode, we got the second meteor shard, but also took on the secret boss in the fort named M. And we also retrieved Raquel's axe. Though we can't really make much use of it given our current stamina. And from that boss fight against M, we got a heaping amount of Meteor Dust. Ten, as a matter of fact. One more, and we could have enough for four automatons to max out. Uh, but we've only got enough for three right now. I could go for a third repair syringe, but I don't think I really need it at the moment. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give some to Olga to get that uh, her special project. And to BB-42, because if I recall correctly, BB-42... Hmm? Yeah, BB-42 gives us a discount and the scavenger chip. Enemies will drop items more frequently. Not a bad thing to get. But also having a discount on upgrading our equipment, not a bad idea either. Now then. Not a whole lot left for us to do around here. Oh yeah, I can get rid of this little mark. And I think once I've done that... Let's see, who else can I give the, uh, you know what? Why don't we give some to Iris? Or maybe Teresa? I know she gives us a chip that increases the durability of cogs. There's also Cleo. There's Master Cecilia who gives us the parry chip. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Tough to say, tough to say. You know what? Screw it. Let's give some to Iris. Uh, no, not on me. I don't need it. Oh, are you sure? I mean, don't you need it more than I? Thanks, Alma. I guess I'll stay around a little bit more. Hey, Alma, I just wanted to say that you, you're probably the best friend I've ever had. Thank you so much for caring about me. I've been thinking that I can help you more since you've been doing so much for me. Hey, Iris, it's okay. You don't have to push yourself. No, really, it's fine, Alma. I used to be very afraid of other automatons, especially the unsighted. But I'll try to fight side by side with you from now on. I mean, really fight, you know? I'll totally smack some unsighted next time we see them. I'm not afraid anymore. Thanks, Iris. But be careful. Oh, whoops. Forgot to disable my cogs. <sighs> Dang it, I can't get back up that way. That's fine. Just take the slightly longer way around. I want to get back to Gear Village, and that means I want to get back to that terminal. But yes, as you can see, she will actually fight alongside us. It's not much, but it will add some DPS. Alright, let's teleport over here. Hey there, Alma. Nice to see you. Offer Meteor Dust. Zoom, 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 zoom. I'm gonna give you some discounts.
Hey, Alma, I want you to know that I really like you, girl. You've been a real friend to me. That's why I want you to have this. It's very special me, and I hope it will be useful to you. Olga, you don't have to. I insist. Please, have this. With this, you'll be able to craft recipes anywhere. Very useful if you get to right before a boss and there's no crafting tables around. And now she's also gotten me a d uh, discount. Let's see. Got the defense cog. Let's buy a stamina cog blueprint. And I think that's it. Alright. Hey, BB. Yes, I do. Well, I want to give you some meteor dust. Let's see. Let's see, helping Olga. By the way, Alma. Bzzz. You've helped me so much lately, I'll give you something in return. Oh, it's nothing, really. I'm just hap- I'm happy just see- blah, blah, blah. I'm happy just by seeing you here working with Olga. Please, I insist. Bzz. Have this. Scavenger chip. Now that we've got a discount, we can upgrade our elemental blade. Unfortunately, I don't think we can upgrade it anymore. Yeah, because I need more ice crystals. Uh, I wonder... Yep. I probably could give her the uh, dust to at least get a discount, but eh, I don't think I really need it. See, would I have enough left over to upgrade it again after this? Nope. So no point in buying another ice crystal. Do I upgrade the dot? You know what? Why not? Alrighty then. Okay, I think with that, we're gonna. St I want to start making our way towards the aquarium. I think we can either go through here or through here, but I. I don't know why, but I think I really want to go through. This way. Because as you recall, there was a statue here, but for some odd reason it was destroyed. Not sure why. Guess it didn't really matter which way we went. Or actually, no, I think it did, because I don't think we could get across this way. Ah, there's the dice. Why they chose die faces to represent this? Ow. I don't know. Honestly, I don't care. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sweet. I was expecting a chest, but I will take that. That does give us a means of getting back. And I may as well explore a little bit before... Hmm? 
Ah, there's some meteor dust around here. Let's see if we can't acquire it. Idiot. I could max somebody else out now. Let's see. Anna. I think she gives us anything too special. Teresa. Getting that uh, durability chip would mean my cogs go last longer. Traveling merchant could be good, but I don't often buy things unless I absolutely have to. Gabby and Joanna, I can't really do anything about right now. Cleo, the fishing rod could be nice. You know what? I'm going to wait around until I find Cleo. Yeah, I mean, kind of figured that there would be some non-friendly versions of Cleo. Ooh, and a free ice crystal, which means once I get the bolts, I can upgrade my elemental sword again. Was that? No. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Not going through that area. But hey, got some more fishing we can do. Reload cog. Okay. All right, I'd say that's enough fooling around. No, I know that they didn't specifically number these things, that you have to go in a specific order, but... 
kind of feels like you do. Okay, it looks like we want to push this around. And it looks like this is our way in, but we need to get an orb for it. Yeah, again, we have something like this. That seems to indicate that, yes, you are supposed to go after them in order. What's up with this temperature? It's freezing. It's Maria. She's in here guarding the meteor shard. That Maria. Maria, that's a scary one. She's one of the oldest automatons around and highly advanced for her time. I remember seeing the doctor speak with her. The doctor thought it was a good idea to give a shard to her so she could keep it safe. Sad to think what could have happened to her. Yeah. Anyways, we get that, we can open up the main door so we don't have to keep dropping in here. Terminal's activated. And I do believe we want to push these blocks onto here. Ooh, hello. Exploration log, 4005. We have just arrived at the aquarium. It seems that everyone here went unsighted. We'll be looking for Maria, the Frost Automaton. We're almost sure she's still in possession of the shard. Uh, I can bet on that one. Okay, that opens up the elevator for us, but let's see if there's... Nope, can't go up that way. There is this pathway over here. Exploration log 4009. We're setting camp temporarily here at the aquarium entrance. We've brought the crafting table so we can create new equipment with the materials found here. Uh-huh. Well, that reminds me, I want to take a look at my treasure album, see if there's anything around here. There's that one in downtown I keep forgetting to get. Got that one, got that one. That's either in here or somewhere in the sewers. Got that. Ah, this one. We gotta keep a lookout for a reflected statue on ice. Next to an elevator. Might be that one we just opened up. Let's see, there's that one that's in an area we haven't gone to yet. That one... I don't remember off the top of my head, and that one we haven't gotten there yet. What do we got? Syringe cog blueprint. Yes, yes, an afflict cog, yada, 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 yada. And yes, I know I said clog instead of cog. Oh. And a shortcut to, yeah, short to the museum should we need it. Which I don't think we really do. Alright, anything else? Ooh, wait a minute. Can this statue be pushed? Yes, it can. But this is as far as we get. And yep, I was right. And, of course, we have ice physics to deal with. Exploration Log 4011. 
The situation here is critical. The entire aquarium has been frozen. The only automaton capable of such a thing would be Maria herself. She's probably gone unsaid at this point, just like the others. We fear that if she escapes from here, she'll freeze the surface as well, risking the entire ecosystem. Yikes. Alright, well, we got ice we can jump across. Unfortunately, one, it breaks very easily. And it is just as slippery as the other ice. Stamina cog. Sweet. Aquarium exhibit log. Marine research automaton model M4R14, Maria. The most advanced deep sea exploration machine developed by Ice Core Industries. Using ice crystals and high pressure resisting alloys, Maria brought to the surface a whole new world for humans to explore. Unfortunately, after 20 years of service, the automaton has been deactivated as Ice Core Industries shut down after whistleblowers revealed their misconduct with sewage. Of course, but why punish Maria for that? Or were they using Maria to dispose of sewage? Wouldn't surprise me if they were. Anyways, the only thing we can do right now is just explore the area, see what we can find. And potentially find an item that will... Well, no, potentially about it. We will find an item that will help us... Explore deeper into the facility. And evidently that was meant to be your first encounter with those, uh, fish bots. And we've got this. Frozen corridor, huh? And of course there are spike traps. And a museum water reservoir. Well... Do I want to give him... No, I wanted to give it to Cleo. Just gotta find Cleo. Really want to take a nap now of all times? Let's at least get somewhere safe. Okay, take out the crabs, lobster things first, then focus on the fish. Ah, didn't even notice it. Seems pretty simple to me. Exploration log 4022. We've suffered many losses here. We weren't ready for this environment and for this many unsighted. I not be able to defeat Maria in this state. We'll have to find another solution. Okay, yeah, I want to head north. Ow. 
Ow. Ooh, a key. Now then, you want to keep track of these, uh, dice? Because there is a specific location. Well, maybe not obviously there's a specific location. But, uh, the code for where you gotta put it in uh, is scattered throughout the entirety of this facility. I think I actually have the code written down somewhere. somewhere in here, but I can't remember where. Hmm. Eh, I'll look for it, uh, off camera. Because I do remember writing it down. Okay, unfortunately, we can't go any further this way, so our best bet is to just head back to where that locked door was. Oh, come on. Might be better to just go out and come back to refresh them. Honestly, I'm just grateful falling into the water doesn't, uh, cost you health, because that would be a pain around here. 4008. There are hints spread all across the aquarium, apparently for some kind of numeric order puzzle. We're taking notes on them. You never know. Might be useful later. So let's see. Blank, blank, two, blank, blank, five. Blank, blank, two, blank, blank, five. Another locked door. Can't do anything about that. Looks like our only option is to head north. You can re-enter this room to reactivate blocks you've destroyed. A basic hint that we might not want to destroy all of these blocks. But I do want to destroy that one. Alright, push this down. Push it across. Where do we want to get this thing? Ah, here. But we didn't want to destroy that bottom one right away. Otherwise, we would have gotten the statue trapped in the corner. And with it, another key. Make sure there's nothing else in here I want to check out. Maybe something to dig up. No, doesn't look like it. Okay, no, the, no other direction to go except through the locked door. We get the frozen waterway. However, we are also unfortunately out of time for this episode. So, I'm going to end things off there for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications when I upload, and please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.